Hi everybody, it's December 11, 2017. You may have seen this already. Daniel Shaver getting murdered by a Mesa, Arizona police officer. I didn't even know about this case, Daniel Shaver. This took place last year. And a jury acquitted the police officer that you will see in this video in one moment. Acquitted this police officer last Thursday. Okay, this is going to be hard to take if you've not seen this. It made me sick to my stomach. Please understand that we no longer live in the United States of America, the one that we used to live in, the one that we grew up in, the one that existed even just 15 years ago. It has completely changed. I don't even recognize it anymore. It is now, I, I feel like I'm living in a foreign country. Our law enforcement soon after 9-11 was flown over to Israel by the Department of Homeland Security to get trained by the Israeli soldiers to come back and then train our police officers as the Israeli soldiers are. It is one of the main reasons we see so often our police treating Americans as if they are Palestinians, as if they are the enemy. And we are the enemy now. We have had Americans comply, obey, remain silent, not get involved. Most, I'm not talking about everybody, most though. We've gone on about our business while we have seen videos like this over the years, countless white, black police officers punching women, police officers beating people up, the police brutality. We have seen these videos over and over and over again. And it, it truly makes me just heart sick that we have essentially allowed ourselves to be treated so poorly. But another reason is that police departments, when they are looking to hire police officers, the, uh, they take a battery of tests, psychological tests, and police departments hire those that have high levels or high scores of psychopathic characteristics. And I will tell you, watching this video, the police officer that you hear that takes his automatic rifle and shoots down an unarmed man, Daniel Shaver. You tell me if this guy is not seriously twisted, sick. And just to let you know, this is a 19 minute unedited version. I'm only gonna play a few minutes of it. The link is below if you wanna watch the whole thing. But what happened was the Mesa the police department got a call that somebody was holding a gun outside a hotel window. In all of the articles that I have read, I have not come across one that has said it was Daniel Shaver holding a gun outside the window. The woman that he is with, that you will see in this video, I haven't come across an article that explains who she is. She may just be somebody in the hotel room in the hotel. But what took place was the police, I believe, called his room and told him to come down. So in just a few seconds, you're going to see Daniel Shaver and another woman turn into this hall and just listen to this police officer.
Watch their behavior. And you tell me if you don't see anything wrong with this. Are you both strong? No. No. Alright. So you're not going to have any problems understanding anything that I tell you, right? Correct. Yeah. Alright. Can I go to me again? No, you're not going to do anything but come towards us. Okay, this is the deal. Young man, you're not to move. You're to put your eyes down and look down at the car. You're to keep your fingers insulated behind your head. You're to keep your feet crossed. If you move, we are going to consider that a threat, and we are going to deal with it, and you may not survive. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Young lady, shut up and listen. Mm -hmm. Right? You are to keep your feet crossed. Take both of your hands, put them flat in front of you. You are to push yourself up to a kneeling position. Kneeling position. Now, put both your hands in the air. Okay, crawl towards him. I'm so sorry. Stop. Okay. Come right and hold. No, Rick. Hold, Rick. Let me know when you're clear. Clear? No, I'm not clear. I'm clear. You're not. You're being detained from the figure out we're going to look cool on, okay? You can be cool and you'll be done. Okay, we're going to know that labor plan. Okay, I need one more cup, bro. Okay. This is the deal. We're going to do almost like we did before, okay? Have a seat. Okay, young man, listen to my instructions and do not make a mistake. You are to keep your legs crossed. Do you understand me? Sure. You are to put both of your hands, palms down, tray out in front of you. Push yourself up to a kneeling position. I said, keep your legs crossed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, just I didn't say this in conversation. Hey, put your hands hand up in the air. You do that again, we're shooting you. Do you understand? Then listen to my instructions. Don't talk. Listen. Hands straight up in the air. Do not put your hands down for any reason. You think you're going to fall. You better fall on your face. Your hands go back in the small of your back or down. We are going to shoot you. Do you understand me? Crawl towards me. Crawl towards me. Don't go. Get up on him. Okay, hold on him. One with me. Keep 
card. Key card. Key card. Go. I got here. Um, Stay quiet. You got him when we go right here? Yeah. Go over and get out of here. Get up. Turn around. All right, so they walk her out of the hotel room. You can click on the link below and watch it yourself. Father of two, unarmed. Uh, how, how, how is it possible that a jury, that a jury could have watched that and acquitted that police officer? How is it possible? No, none of us are safe. That's absolutely true. I will link below to this article and another article. Uh, this article here points out that um, this officer, Brailsford, had been a two-year veteran of the Mesa, Arizona Police Department. Two years. But previously, he had been fired for unsatisfactory performance and policy violations. But clearly, he got hired again. And the murders in plain sight, right before your eyes. There was no reason why these officers could not have instructed both of them to lay on the ground with their arms stretched and then they walk over with their AR-15s pointed at them telling them don't move and then they handcuff them. Hey, what an idea, huh? So the investigator of this police shooting found that uh, the police officer could have thought that when Daniel was walking towards him, and we don't see that in the film, but apparently he did put his hand behind his back, that he was reaching for a gun, really. But the investigator also said, but it could have also been reasonable to think that he was just pulling up his, his gym shorts. Now, when he is lying on the ground like that for a long period of time, are you telling me that these police officers couldn't have walked over there? Okay, but they don't. So, don't you think that those police officers could have seen whether or not he had a gun that was tucked into his gym shorts in his back? Don't you think that they would have been able to see that? We've become a really sick, twisted nation. And this man, 26 years old, Daniel Shaver, father of two, he gets murdered. And the police officer, well, he was fired, but he's a free man, really. Well, we do have to look at our own responsibility and what has taken place in this country. I'm sorry, we do. And too many people are just so quick to obey and comply. Authority, like little kids. And, but we were obeying and complying over everything. So, I'm sure I'll get the comments from people who say, well, you have to obey and comply, otherwise you get shot and killed by a police officer. Years ago, you know, it has become incrementally more and more psychopathic. It didn't start out this way. 
So when the people are afraid of their government, you have tyranny. When the government is afraid of the people, you have freedom. What do we have today? We have tyranny. And I am telling you now, this country, what you just saw, <laughs> it pales in comparison to what we will eventually see. It will be the sickest, most twisted tyranny on steroids that the world has ever seen. That's where we're headed. And if the American people do not wake up and start fighting against this, yeah, we're done.